this is Joel. Joel has a huge ego. Like seriously, he has a massive head. Joel googled the population of the Earth today. It was 7.53 billion. This made Joel sad because it meant that 7 billion 528 million 110 thousand people weren't subscribed to him. Joel decided to cheer himself up, so he killed some chickens. The only other way to cheer Joel up is by subscribing to his YouTube channel. That will make Joel happy. And when Joel is happy, he kills more chickens. So I was trying to think of a video idea, and I was looking through loads of my old videos. And I did a lot of stuff with random generators. Whether it was Boybot, whether it was a random number generator, whether it was my pets choosing what I build. And I forgot how much I enjoyed doing this because it really got me out of my comfort zone. And today, we're going to be going even further out of my comfort zone, as we're not going to be building a house. But Joel, you, you always build a house. Five houses for this, five houses for that. Well, no, okay? No more houses. As today, we're going to be using a random word generator, and whatever word appears, we're going to try and build something around that word. And we're going to be doing this for five words. So let's get generating those five random words. So here we are on randomwordgenerator.com and we're gonna generate five random words and you'll know they're consecutive as I'll show myself clicking. So let's get generating these words. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click really quickly on this button and what have we land on will be our first word and the four after that word will be our other four. So we have Laundry. And after laundry, we have toll. Then after toll, story. And after story, we have cupboard. Wow, some real fascinating words here. And then after cupboard, we have mosque. Okay, that's a cool one. That's a cool one. So there we have it, our five words. Laundry, toll, story, cupboard, and mosque. Let's head to Minecraft. All right, so our first idea is laundry. I think I have an idea of what I can build for this. Oh and yeah, of course, we're gonna time lapse this stuff. Let's get building. So as soon as the word laundry popped up, I had an idea. For some reason, this image just popped into my brain and that was of, you know, like those really narrow streets where they have like the windows open and the laundry coming out of those windows. So that's what I decided to build. Something a bit unusual, normally I'll just build a house, but instead I've built lots of houses, except none of these houses are actually functional and they've all got glowstone in all the windows. I did some things on with chisel and bits such as drain pipes, but I used mainly the deco craft mod to add like the windows, the flowers in here and stuff like that. Just try to make this place look a lot nicer than just keeping it basic vanilla Minecraft. Plus I added in some of those lovely flags you can see across there to give it a nice fun look. And then I used the deco craft mod to actually add in some laundry that's part of that mod and I sort of spread it out at different levels and honestly the effect is awesome. I wish I had a house here. I thought this would be quite a cool idea for a Minecraft base as it's quite unusual. And here's the final effect from our level. Look at it. I think it looks really cool. We've added these shutters on and stuff with these flower pot windows. We've got washing baskets, bins, cardboard box, newspaper dispensers. We got all the laundry coming out of the windows. It looks good from both angles. I also added in a lot of pride flags. You may see a few of those around. I think there's three different types of flags in total, although I can't see the third one right now. Oh, there it is. So what do you guys think? Do you like my laundry build? Let me know in those comments, but let's move on to our next build. And our next word is toll. <laughs> This is probably the most boring word ev ever, to be honest, ever. But something came to mind when I thought of this, so I guess we'll get building. So it had to be one of two things, either a toll as in like a death toll, or a toll as in a toll you have to pay when you go over a bridge or something like that, or go on a certain motorway. So that's what I did, and I decided to Minecraft customize it. So I built this with chisel and bits, so I could detail it quite well, but I did use some things from other mods as well, such as Deco Craft. Also, completely changed it up here, as you can see, because there's actually villagers hiding in all of those green towers. There's one on either side. And I based this off a picture from Google of just a regular toll. That's what happens when you Google toll, is that you get pictures of tolls. Literally, probably one of the first few pictures is the one I based this off. It's a real life picture. I didn't Google Minecraft toll because there's no such thing. But then we sort of customized it. As you can see here, we've got some emeralds only. We've got a big boy section and we've also got a diamond only section, which I'm guessing is like the Minecraft equivalent of cash or credit card or whatever it is you use to pay tolls. I've never really been through many. So albeit a very boring thing in real life, 
in Minecraft is pretty fun. So over here, we have the big boys, and the big boys, of course, are things like horses and llamas, who are big boys, so we'll have to pay extra money, okay? Because that's how it works. Your carbon footprint is bigger, Mr. Horse. Then we got all the other ones. Pigs going for diamond only. This diamond only is a bit empty. Sheep and a cow are going for emerald only. And over here, what's this? It looks like a chicken has tried to sneak through, but luckily, the JCI have got hold of him, the Joel Chicken's investigation. So this guy will be taken and killed somewhere else. It's a brutal world, but that's how it has to be. I also didn't really mention them, but these things here are like little lights that you see for when it's available to come through. Some are green, some are red. This one's red. That one's green at the moment. That one's red, green, green. So yeah, pretty fun build. I think I did pretty well for the word Toll. Now our next word is story and once again surprisingly something came straight to my brain when I thought of this word. So maybe we should like cut to some sort of thing that lapses time. Oh what a great idea and we are going to be building something from Toy Story. As you can probably tell now what this is, it's one of the characters, my favourite character and honestly I thought oh this would be quite an easy one to build, they're quite small, quite fun. Um, the eyes did not turn out super well as you can see here, kind of creepy looking, looks a bit scary, not, not, not done a great job there to be honest, it doesn't really look much like it but eh, we, we, we tried our best, uh, like I said earlier this is like trying to get me out of my comfort zone and practice this sort of thing and honestly this thing is hideous but don't worry we added in a claw as well which is also kind of hideous I tried to add that wire thing that comes out of it looked hideous so as you can see here not great so my idea was to do like one of those spiral cords and um the spirals kind of have gone a bit out of control as you can see and I tried to make it go up really high because the claw comes from the, the ceiling doesn't it the claw the only thing I am happy with is the pizza planet logo on his little jumper there he is um very scary and I don't know why I made his mouth brown it kind of looks like it's like some sort of void uh, yeah so quite a creepy one looks a bit like Yoda from the back Apart from the, the spike there. Creepy. Not not really a success, I would say, but an attempt was made. Next up, though, we've got another very exciting word, and that word is cupboard. So I don't need to time lapse this one. Here it is. Bang. A cupboard. Lovely. All right, next word. Just kidding, of course. I have an idea for this. So some would say another word for cupboard is wardrobe. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to switch it up a little bit because building a cupboard quite boring but you know what isn't boring a wardrobe that leads to Narnia Ooh, yeah so I built the wardrobe from the lion the witch and the wardrobe I didn't build the lion and the witch because they aren't into the word cupboard whereas wardrobe kind of fits a little bit so I made this sort of like nice room here for the cupboard to be in tried to make it look quite old-fashioned because obviously the cupboard was in a sort of old-fashioned place and when you first went out the cupboard I'm pretty sure it led into like a snowy land so of course I made a snowy land. Lots of spruce trees, very crowding, very nice. I wanted to give you know that sort of magical look when you first went through the wardrobe. So shall we see how it looks when you first go through? Another thing I did that I forgot to mention was that I added in some glowstone just in the wardrobe so it kind of looks like it's glowing, like something mysterious is behind it. And if we head through the walking door, whoa. We're in a different land. Oh my gosh, it's Narnia. Where's the Ice Queen and all the other characters? Aslan or Aslan, that's his name. So yeah, I think that's quite a magical effect. I'm happy with that. I feel like we've taken the boring word of cupboard and made something quite fun. Now our final word is mosque. Now this is the only one which actually describes some sort of building, so that's cool. Never built a mosque before, so this should be a fun challenge. Now I have seen a few mosques in person in my time, but I wanted to make a very impressive mosque. So I just googled mosque, and one of the first pictures that came up was this one here of this mosque, which I'm not going to be able to pronounce, so I'm just going to leave the word on screen for you to look at. And unlike other religious buildings this one has like quite a lot of curvy features about it like the big dome on the top the sort of cylinder towers on the side so it's quite a challenge to build but luckily we have chisel and bits so we could make those curves even curvier than you'll be able to in vanilla minecraft and I tried my best to make that door at the front look cool and it just looks a bit weird to be honest but it is not terrible the towers however do look really cool I'm very happy with how these turned out I did not decorate the inside 
light, mainly because I don't know what it looks like inside and also I'm just a bit lazy and I don't like decorating the inside of places, especially big-ish builds, which I'd say this is. It's a decent size, but it's not as big as I probably would have built it if we didn't have chisel and bits, as obviously I can go into more detail. And I did struggle a bit with the dome on top. This took a long time to build. I think the entire build took about two hours or so, with this dome alone taking about 35 minutes to build. I can build cylinders fine, but building domes, a bit tricky, but it looks okay, it's not perfect but I did my best job. And honestly, I really love how this thing looks. I think it looks awesome. Let me go give you a quick tour. There, would you look at that? I'm really happy with this thing. I think it looks awesome if we have a little tour. You'll see it's pretty symmetrical all over. In that last time lapse, you probably saw me working on this little sort of fence thing at the front, which is all custom made of chisel and bits. I really like how that looks. And yeah, I think it just looks awesome. I'm glad we got that as a word. I'm very happy that I managed to build something like this. It's re really, really quite cool. But there you have it. Those are our five builds. To remind you, we have our laundry. We have our toll, our story <laughs> of toys and messed up aliens. Our cupboard to another land. And finally, our moss. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you did enjoy it Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you another time. Goodbye